Chick Yuga, there's a lot going on. I mean, the, the news cycle right now feels slightly insane. You know, you've got Donald Trump nearly assassinated again, twice in two months now. You've got uh, apparently Israel launching this extraordinary attack across the whole of Lebanon on thousands of Hezbollah terrorists and, of course, uh, wounding and potentially killing as well uh, civilians in the process. So there's a lot to, to unpack here. Um, what do you make of it? Okay, first of all, on Donald Trump, what do you want me to do? The guy uh, did a coup attempt. He had fake electors, not even his own electors. You have your own slate of electors. He didn't use them because they said this is unconstitutional and illegal. You lost the election. And he said, all right, you can get in fake electors. Let's do a coup attempt here. Let's have them bum rush the Capitol. And then that'll create enough confusion that we can bring it back to the states and the Republicans will cheat for us. They even wrote it in a book. Then he said we should terminate the Constitution because he lost the election. So what do you want me to do, Piers? The guy hates democracy. He's a dictator wannabe. So, okay, should you shoot at him? Of course not. Any action that is physical like that or violent is a surrender in the intellectual uh, field of, of debate and ideas. So it's a terrible idea, it's immoral, et cetera. But I'm not going to let up on Donald Trump for one second rhetorically, because he is a monster. And he tried to terminate our Constitution. He tried to steal an election. I've never seen anyone so despicable in American politics. And by the way, there's another reason why I'm angry at him. Because I'm a populist. And he took populism and he perverted it to just turning into his own personal con. He's a, such a slimy con man. I loathe him. Everyone should vote against him. He's one of the worst people I have ever seen in politics, and I'm not going to let him terminate the Constitution or destroy this democracy. You see, what I find extraordinary, Cenk, is you haven't even given it a beat since he nearly had his brains blown out on Sunday on a golf course, which came oh, two months after. Oh, did he give after. a beat, Piers? Did he give a beat? Did he ever give a beat when he constantly talks about violence? Hey, if someone takes out somebody from with a stretcher, I'll pay the legal bills. Ha, 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 attack people. Oh, my political opponents, I'm going to jail them. I'm going to attack them. Well, to them. be clear, oh. you're, well, hang on, hang on. To be clear, you're trying to equate him making a joke about maybe slapping or punching someone in a crowd who's abusing him with oh, someone. Can I make a joke with about someone taking an AK? Trump across the face? Well, hang on, was somebody can I make actually, that joke? Was somebody can actually, I make that joke, Pierce? Well, hang on, somebody actually shooting him on a rally stage and then very nearly shooting him on a golf course with an AK-47. Do you not see the difference? Piers, you're asking that question to sank the jank of the young jerks. Uh, I mean, the young Turks. And if, you know what? In the words of sank the jank. Of course, he doesn't understand the question. Of course, he doesn't understand the difference. This is a blubbery, blustery buffoon. Yes, he's got a news organization. Yes, he's got a news company. Yes, he gets millions of people to listen to his grift. Of course he does. But you know what? Jimmy Dore, who I love to watch, gets more people on a live stream with millions of less followers and get and gets better ratios. Because at least Jimmy speaks the truth. All right? And all I ever do is when I hear the Young Turks and Sank is they just try to jit up as much animosity, as much fear, gaslight as much as they can against Trump to the point where this buffoon sank the jank of the young jerks, I mean the young Turks. TDS, I mean Trump derangement syndrome to the utmost I mean, there's, there's nothing, nothing, nothing that Trump can do that would satisfy, you know, Sank the Jank. Not at all. And then when he goes on these blustery, buffoonery tirades and he does his rants and he does his raves and he does his, you know, enunciations and his facial expressions, to me, this windbag, all the gas that is accumulated 
Looks like he's about to pass wind. And it's escaping from below. And in many times, it's escaping from above. The verbal diarrhea that's emanating is unbelievable. Anyways, let's get back to more of this panel. And you know the other surprising thing is, folks, is if you take a look, what's amazing is all throughout this interview, with all the bluster, with all the buffoonery, with all the antics, with all the facial expressions, with all everything going on with Sank the Jank, it's amazing that Candace Owens and this other host have kept their composure and literally their facial expressions have not changed. I don't think I saw any eye blinking or any type of facial expressions at all from these people, which is absolutely amazing how they've kept their composure all this time. Anyways, let's get back to more of Piers Morgan with Sancta Jenks, and let's get into it right now. So, Piers, those are terrible actions. So, what am I? I'm asking you a literal question. What do you want me to just go? Could you give oh, it a okay, beat? Now, Donald Trump's I mean, Jake, a good. Jake, hold on, let me finish the question. Jake, on a let me human the level. Donald on Trump's a, a good level. guy. Donald Trump loves democracy. <laughs> Donald Trump, no. Donald Trump's still the same monster he was yesterday. So, I hate that people are shooting at him. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's immoral. It's wrong. Why would you I be can't surprised? Why any stronger? Why would you but be I'm surprised? I'm not going to tell you that Donald Trump is a decent man. But, Jake, when why would you be? Grotesque human Jake, being. Why would you be surprised that people are taking drastic action? Unhinged people with unhinged brains who are listening to constant rhetoric from you people. You didn't answer the question. Well, what do you on. want me to do? You hang want on. me to uh, politically well, I'm surrender? Asking, right? I'm asking you a question. Do you not consider for a moment that within 48 hours you're still saying monster, demagogue, dictator, blah, yes. blah, 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 that's blah. because that's for who it. he is. Yes, but this is what so is affecting... So you want me to lie? Yeah, because... Tr Piers, tell me this. Because Do you Jake, want me to lie? Let me finish. Let me finish. The, the shooter at the golf course, specifically in his recent social media posts, parroted Kamala Harris, saying that he was effectively an existential threat to democracy in America. You're doing the same. Does, does nothing no, make you poor? You're insane. Hillary Clinton's you're doing insane. the same. Trump does it 2,000 times worse. So, so, and you, so, because, and, and Piers, so because you think he you, does so it, your, your you should do it too. Is Democrats shouldn't, your great idea is Democrats shouldn't campaign against your beloved Donald Trump because some moron, mentally unstable guy took a shot at him. Okay, or two of them did. You know what? I, I can protect Donald Trump. Ban assault weapons. That'll protect Donald Trump way more than any of, oh, the same night. I mean, that's the first time that I've seen there's some purse lips going on here. But other than that, I mean, Candace, is it blinking? This gentleman here did, you know, rub his face a little bit. But he's just, and then, you know, sank the jank. He's just continuing on this tirade, this rant, this buffoonery, all this bluster. I mean, it's just you can't get through to these people, folks. You just can't. And they show themselves, sink the jank of the young jerks. I mean, excuse me, the young Turks. He shows himself every single freaking day. He does it. We all know what he's about. Grifting for the views for his beloved TYT. And that's fine. He's got an organization. He's got a shtick. That's what he wants to do. Okay, fine. But a lot of people see through the bullshit of TYT. They really, really do. Nice things about him now that some lunatic took some shots at him. Here, let me do, be super clear. If you're on the left, I know the right wing love their guns and Second Amendment remedy and they've been riled it up to do violence nonstop. But if you're on the left and you do any violence, you are not one of us. You're a stupid person who does nothing but uh, make uh, a worthy cause look immoral with your insanity. Never do violence. Is that clear enough? Or maybe, maybe when they constantly hear on the airways people like you and Hillary Clinton and others constantly depicting Trump 
as an existential okay, threat to democracy in America. Piers, you're maybe, totally maybe, guilty. Maybe, you're guilty. Maybe, you're guilty. Maybe. Because you support Donald Trump. Maybe and it Donald is Trump caused, has done 2,000 times worse, maybe, and you know it. You maybe, won't even run it on this show. Okay. You won't even run it on this show because Donald Trump, what he says is so much worse than anything a Democrat has ever said about him. So you won't even run it on this show. So that's it. Are you telling Donald Trump, you better shut up. You better not say any of those gross things that you always say. You know that he joked about smashing Nancy Pelosi's husband's head in with a hammer. Yeah, and the truth One is, One of his Cenk, lunatic fans Cenk, tried to murder Nancy Pelosi's yeah, husband, and, and, and he's like, ha, ha, it's so funny. Here's Do the you problem. Know that when he tried to murder his vice president, Here's the problem, he then Cenk. turned around and said he deserved it. Here's he's the a problem. Psych, he's a psycho. Here's and the you problem. defend him every day, Pierce. Here's the problem. You have no idea what I've said about you. And... He's calling Donald Trump the psycho, Sank the Jenk. This tirade has gone on for like five minutes, folks. The verbal diarrhea has gone on. I mean, I know sometimes people, you know, you get upset. There's something that comes up and you basically say, I've just had it up to here. But this is like every single freaking time that sank the jank of the young jerks, uh, I mean, the young Turks. You bring up, you want to trigger sank the jank? All you have to do is go, Trump, good. And you'll get a freaking earful. I mean, you'll get a volcano of verbal diarrhea. Coming in your direction, the lava will just spew out of the top of this gaping hole. <laughs> just spill over and continue to bubble. And then once you think it stops, no. There's another eruption that's underneath the previous eruption. And the lava, the verbal diarrhea just continues to flow out. I mean, let's see if there's anything left in the tank. A sank the jank. Trump, when he's done these things, if you had, you wouldn't accuse me of not talking about them because so are you I always do. To shut up? Because I always do. Are you tell me to in, shut up. I want to bring in Candace Owens here. I want to tell you to look, shut up. How's that? Forty-eight hours after the latest assassination attempt, and I'm listening to another liberal, who I respect. I've had Cenk on a lot on the show. Absolutely losing his mind about how despicable. Donald Trump is and what a threat he is and a danger and so on and so on. Exactly the kind of rhetoric that Trump has said he believes is fueling these people to try and kill him. What do you what do you make of where we are with this? Go, Candace. Let's um, hear what it. What I make of all of this is that if you are going to legitimately tell people that someone is a monster, that somebody is a dictator, that somebody is literally Adolf Hitler, if you're going to tell people that this person is a constant threat, why wouldn't somebody try to eliminate that threat? That would actually be a sensible thing for somebody to do if they believe the rhetoric that is coming out of people's mouths. Now, then if this right had happened and it was guilty, flipped, including you, Candace, it, Chank, you just You're spoke for guilty. a very then, long time. You've done 10,000 times worse than you know. Let Candace speak, Chank. Chank, you're going to have to learn how to control yourself. I know it's very difficult for you, but you just had a very long time to speak, and we were quiet. I promise you can do that. You need to sit on your hands, then you should do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Candace, with the velvet glove, she just literally told him, oh, thank you, like a kindergarten kid. She was like a teacher there. It said, if you don't behave, thank the jank, you're going to have to go in the corner and sit on your hands. So literally what she just did, she did the old, That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at his face. <laughs> he looks like he's holding it in, folks. He wants to pass wind so much because there's so much building up over there that it's just bubbling over. <laughs> he's got a... He's having a brain fart right now, folks. A literal brain fart as he's holding it in. We just hope he doesn't explode and just leave the scene. Let's listen to more Candace. <laughs> as
as I was saying, if this situation had been reversed and I had just watched somebody try to shoot Kamala Harris, I would be definitively saying how wrong it was. I would be saying to people that despite the fact that I do not want her to be president, of course, she is not so much of a threat that she needs to be shot. They don't stop this rhetoric because they do not want these assassination attempts to stop on Donald Trump. And I want to be very clear, the circumstance that we find ourselves in in the West is one of remarkable privilege. And when you're in times of remarkable privilege, it creates a, a, actually an issue of having a lot of weak men, right? Weak men are the ones that are going out here <laughs> like proclaiming Trump. that Donald Trump is a threat, proclaiming that Donald Trump is somebody that is a dictator because they've never had real conflict in their lives. And you're about to see that example right now, the difference in the demeanor between someone like Cenk and Eric Prince, who I greatly respect, and who is somebody who has seen real conflict and understands what real threat is, right? He understands real threat. Cenk is somebody that grew up, obviously, with a silver spoon in his mouth. He's never had to fight for anything in his life and has never had to put his life before somebody else's. So it's very easy for him to behave like this, to behave demonstrably like a, like a toddler who is throwing his toys out of the pram when he doesn't get what he wants. And so he, he heightens his rhetoric and says, why am I not getting what I want? This man's a dictator. This man's a threat. And he's not being realistic. And it's, it's embarrassing to our country, whether it was a person on the you right or the left. You guys haven't addressed it at all. Who, uh, Chank, Chank, I promise you are capable he of He wants to terminate the Constitution, so you like minutes that? As somebody else speaks. Let me bring in Eric. Eric, you are a former Navy SEAL. I mean, she literally spanked him. Not once, not twice, not thrice, but she literally went after him. And he didn't even have the courtesy to allow her to speak. When he went on his verbal diarrhea diatribe for like seven minutes, non-freaking stop. It is amazing the amount of verbal diarrhea, the amount of stuff that is literally within this buffoon as he talks. I don't even know if I could do a seven-minute monologue on why I think Kamala Harris shouldn't be president. And it would all be on policy. And it might take a couple of personal shots. Just being a little honest there or whatever. But you know what? That's okay. But not to the extent that these guys are talking about. Calling her a communist. Calling her a Marxist or a socialist. Hey, that's part of the game, right? Doesn't everybody come back and say, oh, conservatives, Republicans, you're racist. You're my gods, you're bigots. You're transgender-phobe. You're Islamophobe, you're Jew-phobe. You're this-phobe, you're that-phobe. You're white supremacist even though you may have brown color, brown skin, or you're black, or you're Asian, or you're Hispanic or Latino. But if you don't agree with what the liberals and the leftists and the Democrats say, and you're get off their plantation, then guess what? You happen to be a white supremacist, no matter what your skin color is, no matter what your ethnicity is. You're a bad person, you're a bad people. Because although the left screams diversity, folks, they scream it at the freaking rooftops. Diversity for everybody. Equity for everybody. Inclusion for everybody. I think DEI, I like it better when it's D-I-E. But we all know the other acronym for DEI, which is didn't earn it. But they scream that, don't they? They put the D first, diversity. Oh, they want diversity, except what kind of diversity don't they want? They don't want the diversity of opinion. That's right. If you have a different opinion, they don't want that diversity. If you have a diversity of thought, <laughs> they don't want that diversity. If you have a diversity of science, <laughs> they don't want that diversity. Diversity of religion, <laughs> they don't want that diversity of religion. 
diversity on gender. Oh, they don't want that diversity on gender. They just want you to be lockstep with their diversity, which means all the other diversities don't matter anymore. Anyways, folks, we hope you appreciate it and we're watching here on the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. Like, share, and follow us. So you all know what to do. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. And if you haven't done so already, check out our video links above and below. My final thought as always. Oh, before that, put your comments on below. Do you think I was too harsh on Sank the Jank of the Young Turks? I, I mean the Young Turks? Or was I apropos? What did you think of Candace? I'll leave with my final thought, which is, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.